This now brings um, online and available um, that capability in a different and innovative way. So we're not just reliant upon and waiting for the countries to put that capability in place. That's what we still aspire to and we're still going to work with the countries to develop that. But we're saying that in the interim we can then start working with the airlines um, to um, not only help them mitigate some of the risks that they experience of moving people between countries that might not be um, uh, legitimate bearers of, the, of their, the identities that they're using, but also helping the police and the, 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 the law enforcement agencies identify that international threat as well that may be hidden in those huge passenger numbers that we're seeing going um, from country to country. If you'd asked me 10 years ago would we be working with Interpol, I probably would have laughed. Um, probably not actually dressed appropriately for an Interpol interview. But, um, you know, it's great that the two cultures have met. I want to strengthen it, I want to grow it, I want to help Interpol do their jobs. We're a very transparent airline and I hope Interpol can make uh, AirAsia a safer airline and also um, with the tremendous data, less of a problem for the 99.9% .9 of people who have no intentions to cause any disruptions on a flight. We look forward to not only working with our existing partner, AirAsia, but also now looking to, to reach out to all the other international airline carriers and encourage them also to be maybe as creative and innovative um, as AirAsia have been, where they look at their own business model, look at the risk that they're carrying as an airline, um, and think, well, if there's an opportunity to improve um, some of their risk mitigation in a stronger, more dynamic partnership with the global law enforcement community. They can do that with Interpol through the iChecker initiative.